Hey guys, welcome to Jurassic Room. Happy New Year. I figured uh, tonight I'd do a special video real quick. Let's see if we put away these little knobs for the clan leader we just got. The re the uh, review will be out later on the night or tomorrow morning. As will some reactions and some movie reviews that I get finished up. Um, so I figured I'd start this video off real quick with happy, uh, 2017. Cannot wait for 2017, so many good movies come out. So, this is going to be a combination of the top 10 video movies I can't wait for 2017. And, because I already did that before, but, you know, after all the trailers and all that, you know, my opinions have changed. And... Also, my top five favorite uh, things that have happened this year. So, I'd like to say number five probably be. Uh... Oh, hold on a second. All right, so maybe top three because right now I can't think of all the great things that have happened this year. Apparently, I'd have to say if I chose two, like off the bat, would be moving to this house and going to our. New church because those both of those are very great things, <clears throat> and one of my my favorite moments from 2016. My th my third favorite thing that happened this year would probably uh, be getting Caesar. Caesar's my little buddy, and uh, you know we've also got some other creatures this year. We got Pokey the boxer, which is a very loyal pet. She's a very loyal pet. Just, just fed him some crickets today. Uh, we bought, got the puffers, but they passed away, I don't know how, that really sucks, and we lost, uh, Chalk, and Billy the Bass, and, uh, all of them, really sucks it, because I love them so much, but anyway, yeah, all the, all of our friends that we've gained this year, and are still with us, like Caesar and Pokey, and, well, the rest of them have been with me for years. The turtles, the Asian red tail catfish, Toothless, Crone, and uh, Oracle, and Spud down there. Been with us for a while. I have to say, the second, uh, my second favorite moment for 2016 is when my granddad caught that red fish. We did not think he was going to get in. That was one of the best moments I can think of. I was. All the happiness in that moment, I actually got it on video. Check out our fishing video from uh, Panama City, something like that. First video. We got that big old red in, and I've still got the jaw. It's actually over there on my desk. You can see it right next to the pirate ship. I'll get that out later on. Uh, I like it right there. My favorite moment, though, from 2016. Another moment I can think of that would be really cool would be like... Uh, when I went to the Chrysalis camp, that was really fun. And uh, we went down to Destin in that really great hotel. Got to do all that great stuff. Even though I was sick like half the week. But when we was when we my favorite moment is when we got home after that vacation and my grandparents called and said that they had met Mountain Man when uh, trying to find a boat. And he was there uh, doing stuff with the uh, Boyd's Marine. And we were able to go and meet Mountain Man. I've got the signed photograph over there, and I've got his signed hat somewhere around here. Yeah, definitely uh, is my favorite moment, was when we got to meet Mountain Man. I've got that video on the channel way, way back. But it's definitely my, my favorite moment from 2016 is when we got to meet him. Such a funny guy. He talks slow and real live, just like Duck Dynasty. I hear them thumping around in there. They're probably looking for me to get back in there to celebrate. Made some bean dip and some punch. Anyway, my top 10 most anticipated movies for 2016. Number 10, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. It really won me over with the trailer. It looks interesting. I've been harassed by one dude who uh, got mad at me for calling Salazar a ghost pirate. I don't care. That's a thing that fans 
of certain movies, they get so butt hurt when you say anything wrong. I got that with the Wonder Woman trailers. I got that with Pirates of the Caribbean and uh, Transformers. Gum. But anyway, I really liked how that teaser went. We haven't seen an official trailer yet, but the teaser went really well. Now, War of the Planet Apes would probably be on this list if I have not seen the trailer yet, and I have not watched the trailer yet. I've been. I need to do the reaction. I keep forgetting. I got a list of videos I gotta react to, and I keep forgetting to react. Nine is Logan. I cannot wait to see Logan. It looks so awesome. Old Man Logan comics coming to life. I hope we get to see X-23 and possibly Dakin in action. Because when we saw the claws come down, I thought I saw three. So I think it could be Dakin. That way it looks really good. Number eight, Transformers The Last Night. That trailer won me over. I cannot wait to see it. Possibly whatever that is. Unicron, I think is what it is. Uh, Optimus turns to the dark side, and it looks like he does something to Bumblebee, possibly killing him, which has got my mom mad, because she's a Bumblebee fan. I don't care. That was not a good Optimus impression. Uh, number seven, Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, as long as Zendaya is not Mary Jane, this could possibly be one of my favorite movies of 2016. I just don't like Zendaya. But anyway... Looks really fun. I like Michael Keaton, and I like the design of the Vulture. I like the way they're taking the movies. I just hope we get to see a lot of action. That's all I care about. Number six, Alien Covenant. I cannot wait to see this. It, that trailer was so gruesome and terrifying. And... I lost the word. Exhilarating? No. Anyway, looked awesome. So number five. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, I know this is kind of... I love the first Guardians of the Galaxy. It's one of my favorite Marvel movies. But, this trailer... Even though I'm, I want to see other movies more than Guardians of the Galaxy 2, that was the funnest trailer I've seen this year. It is. It looked. It was so funny. The first trailer was awesome from Comic Con. Then the second trailer, or what would be the official trailer, blew it out of the water. Baby Groot. I love Groot. Hopefully, that came out on camera. I am Groot. Yeah, I can do it in real life, but when it comes to through on the camera, it sucks. This is a phone camera. I gotta get a new camera. Anyway, it looks so good, and got new characters like uh, Keith Richards. Is it Keith Richards? I think it's Keith Richards, supposed to be uh, Ego, the Living Planet. Also, his dad, and Mantis. Anyway, it looks all looks awesome and hilarious. Number four. Star Wars Episode 8. Now, this is only in the top five because I know it's going to be awesome. I can't wait for it. And, you know, even though we have no trailer for it, I know it's going to be awesome. Mark Hamill's going to be in it. And Carrie Fisher, rest in peace. Number three is Justice League. Of course it's going to be on this list. It's Batman, Flash, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Superman coming all together. Can't wait for Justice League. Want to find out a little bit more about it? Looks awesome. Cannot wait for Ezra Miller's Flash, Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, Jason Momoa's Aquaman, Henry Cavill's Superman, and Ben Affleck's Bat Black. It. The first trailer looked really good. You know, you know, it's basically just the team getting together. We don't really know so much about the plot yet. Cannot wait for more info. Okay, number two, Thor Ragnarok. Now, we don't have a trailer for it yet, but it's definitely my number two because it's going to be taking place with the Thor Ragnarok comics and Planet Hulk, which is my favorite Marvel storyline. Well, technically, it's Planet Hulk, then War, uh, World War Hulk, 
I love those comics. Some of my favorites. And I cannot wait to see Hulk come back with a vengeance. So I think this is probably going to be more of a Hulk movie. Or at least at some point it's going to be more... Uh, it's going to go more towards the Hulk. Not to mention we're going to be getting characters like Hela and uh, Jeff Goldblum as the Grandmaster. I think a few others. Huh. Anyway, cannot wait for Thor Ragnarok. It sounds so awesome, just the uh, pitch of it. Uh, what else was there about it? Er, a hope, though. I wonder why Marvel has not brought in the Enchantress. I think that's surprising, given how big a character she really is in the Thor universe. I would have thought she would have, they would have added uh, Enchantress in by now. Maybe it's to not compete with DC's Enchantress from Suicide Squad. Possibly. And y'all already know what uh, number one is. Kong! Skull Island. Of course it's number one. It's a giant ape on an island full of dinosaurs and skull crawlers. First trailer was awesome. Second trailer blew my mind. The action, the comedy, the creatures, and I'm going to be doing a video soon because they just released a photo with Jordan Bo Roberts, the director, sitting on top of the giant triceratops skull prop. They better give us giant dinosaurs in this movie and not teased us looks creepy. Anyway, cannot wait for Kong Skull Island. Oh my gosh, I love the trailer. And I'm telling you right now, we better get some toys because I'm going to be buying all of them. Anyway guys, Happy New Year's. Cannot wait for what's going to come in 2017, especially hopefully all of these actors stop dying. We just lost the dad from MASH today. We lost Carrie Fisher, George Michael, Prince, uh... What's his name from Labyrinth? Gene Wildman. Gene Wilder. Um, Debbie Reynolds. Carrie Fisher's mom. I forget what his name is. He played as Heat Miser in the Year Down of Santa Claus. I mean, we have lost a lot of stars, even though I haven't mentioned like. Dang, it sucks! Anyway, guys, so remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And you can expect some videos to be released soon, especially the review for this guy, which I do not regret not getting for only $25. Awesome figure. But anyway, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. Happy New Year.